Check. Hair. Check. Lotion. <laughs> Check. <laughs> mm. Okay, your beard for like a feather duster, dude. <laughs> What's good, good, JB Squad? It's your boy, Jay. Yo, it's your boy, Vail. What's the deal? So, you guys, it is June 30th. It's the last day of Pride Month, as most of you all know. So, we decided that we would give y'all our coming out story. And for most of y'all, if y'all have already been here before, this just ties back into that thing. Like, we did one of these videos before, and it was very emotional. Um, and he deleted it. <laughs> I didn't want to put all that into it, but he deleted it. Next. But yes. Yeah. So, we're redoing it, but we're going to keep this one, like, basically short and simple. And just, like, you know, give the main idea of our coming out story. So, who's going to start first? Should I start first or should you? <laughs> You might as well go and start first since you want to delete shit. I ain't, first of all, I don't the words on my mind not say that. Okay, first of all, nah, I go ahead and say it. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I've, I've been DL since, I want to say junior high. But I started like, you know, coming out more after high school. But I was just like, I was going through the phase and stuff. Like, the whole time I started liking girls, but I ain't let everybody else know about that. I just kept that on low. So y'all, you know, people didn't know that. I ain't like guys yet. But when so I was one of those fucking with girls put on the low. Hey. But no, when I ain't gonna lie, what really made me come out, what really, really made me come out more is when I met you. Same here. Cause it's like when it's like when I first met you, it's like it was like we it's kinda it's not like we, we kinda connected. Plug, like I plugged you in or something. I'm just <laughs> No, I just now you now you feel yourself. <laughs> At the point when I start knowing, she started getting to know you more. I started to say, you know what? I'm really just trying to really not have a crush on this dude, but I just don't want to. I was just kind of afraid of rejection at first. You know, that's funny you said that, because that was that night when I had came over to your house, and who was that that was upstairs? It was your cousin. No, that was my nephew. That was oh, my, yeah. That was that was my uh. Who that was, was that? That was my sister Ashley. Oh, Ashley. Okay. We were talking about something, and then you said something. You was like, no, yeah, we were talking about something, and then you was oh. like, do you like girls? And I was thinking in my head. I'm like, oh my god. I said, here we go. The whole time I was thinking like, I know he fucking like dudes, but I'm just, I was just like, you know what? Let's just see where this goes. So I was. So just you like, was testing me. Of course. <laughs> you was testing me, but you popped the test. Pop quiz. So he was like, do you like girls? I was like, I think I had said, yeah. I think I was just lying. I think I was like, yeah. Yeah, I was. I did say yeah. And then he was like, oh. Mm. And he was like, me too. Like you said it quiet and like, like that. And I was just like, he fucking lying. This was my mind, but whatever. But so let's keep it going. The night we came out to each other, finally, after what, seven, six months? Well, like seven months. Yeah, no, that, that, no, I told you that in September. No, I know that, but like seven months of us, remember I said I considered those dates even though we was friends mm -hmm. and we didn't tell each other how we felt. You I tell, like, you I tell, that whole seven months. You tell motherfuckers that when I went to school with your ass. I did. <laughs> I was on my birthday. We went to the casino. They was like, Jesse, who was that? I was like, that's my friend. Somebody went to school. Um, I think it was Talia. She said she knew I was. You know damn well I was because school. you way older than me. Yeah. Or whatever. But yeah, cause when the year you graduated is the year I got in high school. So yeah, mm -hmm. but. <sighs> so basically my story I as far as I can remember I've been gay my whole damn life. <laughs> so you never had a girlfriend or nothing? I did, like when we was like, you know, in like elementary school. Oh yeah, like she yeah, everybody had one. But, mm, excuse me, hair in my mouth still. But yeah, like yeah, I had one of those and stuff like that, but basically I kiss? Yeah. I wasn't. 
Boy, I was a kid. I, it was oh, good then. Kids, 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 kids remember that shit. It was good then, yeah. Like, <laughs> you might say, ooh, she got cooties. No, 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 like that. I didn't uh, believe that. <laughs> I just knew kids just used to say shit like that. I didn't even know. Ew, yuck. <laughs> no. But I um to be honest, like the moment the like cause I even like the girls like in fifth grade. Cause it was this one girl I went to school that had a crush on her. But sixth grade, that's when I really was just like fifth grade, I was kinda like, I guess curious. Hey, I understand like what people be saying, like, you know about like how they feel about kids that be gay, but at the same time, like, when I was that age, like, I knew, like, that I was gonna be gay, like, when I got older. Just cause, like, I was always attracted to do, like, some type of way. But, yeah, middle school is when I really, like, knew, I was just like, yeah, I'm attracted to men. Like, there's a lot of girls in, my, in our family. Like, it's more girls than it's boys. And it's like, I grew around females, like, I even got more female friends. I got, like, to be honest, I'll tell you this is true. I don't have hardly, I don't have no male friends at all. I have all female friends. You came out first to your mama. That's what encouraged me for actually to come out. Actually, I told my neighbor first. You, yeah, TR. <laughs> yeah. I told, I know, I know. <laughs> I know who I told first. I told my neighbor first, and then she said, boy, fuck what people think. Boy, as long as you happy, it's all that matter. And I was like, I was like me, I'm the type of person that I was like, I got. I kind of like when I was I'm still old, still younger at the time a little bit. I used to always care what people say and that, even though I always thought that. But I realized in life, you got you can only do what make you happy in the day. You can't do what make other people happy. So that's when I said, you know what, maybe I got something to tell you. Cause she started wondering why my ass was never at home. Cause I was always at it, my house. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Them thirty minutes every weekend. <laughs> you know, count, count the weekdays too. Oh yeah, weekdays too. Shoot, baby. Cause it was closer. I wish you come on. I wish you come over. I'm like, bro. I'm like, give, give me, give me half an hour. I'll be there. Damn, boy, you was like that. Yes, I was. You know, you when you know, when you live in Grandview, I was living all the way from I had to drive 30 minutes to your house. That's when I had that pony at. I used to call to come visit you. But you come like, oh, I did that, bro. Don't say it like you didn't want to come over. No, because I was like, damn, I got a job. I was thinking like, okay, I'll come over because, you know, and then it's like, then I got a job almost 25 minutes to work. Because I live, I was like, you live in Grandview. I got to live, I, live, I work all the way in the opposite side of between Mission and Wanda and KCK. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn, I got to drive like 25 ish to take the highway. No, we were trying to charge during that time to get to work. So long story short, but yeah, uh, I told my neighbor, and then he told her, and then I, that, you know, I said, yeah, you're right, and I said, you know what, fuck what people think. I'm long as I'm happy and this and that. But then I was scared to tell my mama because you know my mama, she's a real the church going lady. So it's like I was like, oh my god, like I'm scared to tell my mama. But I said at some point I gotta tell her eventually. So, so one day. Well, no, this is what I did. I kind of got my mama drunk, dog. I bought, so I said, hey, mama. I so you got her drunk? You didn't tell me that. <laughs> okay, keep going. We're going to talk about this afterwards. Okay. I was like, you know, as I told mama, what's been going on with me working and stuff. And I told her that then when she went there, when, when wine started kicking in more, then, then I said, good. It was probably a good time to tell her this. So I said, okay. So uh, I said, all right, I can't, I can't hide it no more. It's been going on for almost close to like going on a month. So I told her that I've been seeing, I'm seeing a guy. And then she said, that guy you bought over the one time? I said, yeah. That's me. Yep, that's me. <laughs> <Very boy. laughs> but no, nah, I told she said, really? I said, yeah, mom, I've been seeing him a little over a month now. We, we was like dating and stuff, and now I want to take it real seriously with him and snap. And she was like, I'm not gonna judge you. Long as you happy, that's all that matters. Well, she gave me a hug, she said, I love you no matter what. And she said, long as you happy, you that's all that matters. I love you, son. Like, ever since I came out, I haven't had no negativity or nothing. Like, it's always been positivity ever since I came out. And I love that. And then that's when I came out more. And, you know, I went public with our relationship. Like, six months in the relationship. You know, I went public with it and stuff. And we took pictures and stuff. Everybody said, who was that? And the whole time, everybody kept thinking me was brothers. Like, no, we're not. <laughs> But no, I said we are farmers. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, have you okay? Have you been drinking some wine? No, I'm just goofy as fuck. You know, I'm goofy, period. Like, anyway, I need some wine right now. Well, we go off some more. Why not? But yeah, I'm 
But yeah, so yeah, so I told my mama it was, and then I told my mama she was like, you know, and then I told, I think I told my, I'm trying to think who else to tell next. I think I told my best friend, I told one of my best friends, I told Rob, I told Raviance, and I told Monique. So, mine, that was when you had told your mama. So, when you called me and told me, I remember I was at work, and then I was just like, oh my God. So, that means I have to tell my mama now. My heart was just pounding through my damn chest while I was at work. Like, that fucked the rest of my day up. Not like that, but it just like, ugh. I, I couldn't talk. focus. <laughs> oh, because you were scared. You got to yeah, because like, you told your mama. So, I'm like, okay, I have to tell my mama now. So, it just like. <laughs> My anxiety the rest of the day at work was just so I did it. So me, I'm like not really a speaker when it comes to like expressing my feelings. Like I would rather like text or like you know write it down or something like how I'm feeling or something. So I text my mom. It was like I want to say two in the morning. I had just got off and my mom was a night owl like I used to be. So. I text her just like talking about like, you know, what you doing and stuff like that. And she was just like, nothing. And then I told her, I was like, I got to tell you something, but I don't want you to judge me and all this and that. Like, you know, I just want to be honest. So she was like, what? And I said, I'm gay. And she was just like, oh, honey, I knew that a long time ago. <laughs> and when she said that, my heart just dropped. And I was just like, wow. Mm -hmm. It's just like, I knew she knew, like I knew everybody knew, but I just was afraid of rejection. I didn't want to tell nobody. Like I was afraid everybody would treat me different, which they didn't. But I just, you know, I'm just afraid of that. Like, you know, typical person coming out the closet, like scared of how everybody's gonna react and stuff like that. So like when she told me that, like we just like ended up talking about it and stuff like that. And she was like, you're my son. I'm gonna love you regardless. Like- You shared you who you, who you. No, I am. So like when I told her that, then she was like, is it your friend that you brought over to the house on Thanksgiving? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And then that's when she told me like, you know, she'll love me forever and all this and that, like no matter what. And then she said, she wanted to get to know you even more and stuff like that. She loved me to death. Like, mm -hmm. she loved me to death, like, for real. So, yeah. That was pretty much mine with my mama. The first person I actually told was my cousin, though. She had, mm -hmm. oh. she had inboxed me. That was over the summertime. This was, like, in, like, the wintertime. She was just like, cuz, I don't want you to hate me, and I don't want you to think I'm judging you or something like that. She was like, but are you gay? And at the time, like, I was still, like, you know, it up and she was just I was just like a little bit <laughs> Why are you gonna be a little bit gay? or no I oh, said I'm curious I said I'm curious or whatever and then she was like well you know I'm not gonna judge you she was like you know I'm bi and all this and that and I mean I should have like you know felt comfortable telling her because I knew she was bi but it's just like you know like I was just scared still I didn't want to tell nobody like and then my sisters I told all of them and like they was well i told them like probably a couple weeks before mom because they had asked me a question or they were just like you know they asked me the same question and i told them and they was just like we gonna love you forever like you know everybody just literally saying the same thing like they always love me like forget what everybody else think and like you know do you do what makes you happy and like i swear ever since i came out a whole weight like just was lifted off of me and like I just feel amazing like I really do like I feel like I can fully 100% be myself now and no, you can't. I owe it all to you oh, because if it wasn't for you I wouldn't have had the courage mm. to come out I'd probably still be hiding myself what, four years being together? No, like I'm saying, if it wasn't for me getting with you, oh. like I probably would still be, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Now look at us. Four years down the line, we're about to be married in like less than three weeks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, basically this video is just to inspire people, like, you know, no. that may be like. Still in the closet or still like. 
you know, trying to find they trying to find them themselves and stuff. So and like you know, like you're not alone. So you know, you know, just know that you be yourself. Do what makes you happy. Fuck with fuck with other people things. Okay. For real. Tell them to blow you, bitch. Blow. How to, what auntie do? Blow me, bitch. Literally, just blow you. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Okay. Don't listen to that. But no. Yeah, just. Forget what people say. Like, yeah. do what makes you happy. Do what you want to do. Like, it's like you know, it's it's tough. It's like, tough though. But like, well, once you talk to somebody and then once you get up your chest, you will feel so much relief. Like a whole lift, a whole weight lift off of you. Mm -hmm. And I'm honestly say, like, for most people, people already know, but they just waiting on you to tell them. That's how everybody was to me. They say, oh, we knew that. We was just waiting on you to tell us. I'm just like, I think y'all know me. <laughs> but I mean, it, it, if you really know me and you've been on me, it was it was obvious. Like it was obvious. But, but I hope this video inspires y'all to be who you really are and to just live happy, live in truth, and you know, like just do you and your boo. <laughs> no, for real. Me, you. Well, that's the end of this video, guys. We about to get up out of here. You guys, we about to go to Texas this weekend. So, yes. Yeah, well, we will be vlogging, too, the that's whole time. Gonna, yep, that's going to be our next video. We're going to be vlogging. And then, if y'all live in Texas, like Dallas and Houston, Send us, like, let us know some good places to go ch to check out at, for real. Because, like, some restaurants, some bars, mm -hmm. some clubs. That could just message us some places to go, whatever. We go check it out, you know, and get back to you guys let you know how it was. It's that. Yeah. So, that video of our vlog will be up next week. And then after that, we got another video of our sleeve. But we ain't going to tell y'all what it is. Y'all just got to wait and say something. But we got it up our sleeve already. We came for it. Yeah. It's a challenge though, but that's all I'm gonna tell y'all. <laughs> so we love you guys. Oh my god, we hit 400. We didn't announce it. Now we now we announced it. Though. Yeah, we hit 400 and what one? Last time I seen it was 405. JV Squad members, yeah. and we love all of y'all to the end. For real. And we're going to work on posting videos like every week. But we've been so busy with work and everything. So we're going to try to start posting videos like every week. Like once a week. We're going to try to get out there. Yeah. So we're going to try to start working on it every week. But no matter what it is. Even if it's just a little snippet of some BS on a daily. Like or, we we do or we could do another. Or we could just like do a mud bang again. And just talk about what's, you know, what we got coming up. Or we'll talk about, you know. Yeah. But for sure, we dropping videos every week this month, though, because we got this video that's posted. We got our vlog that's going to post of our first vacation this year. We got the challenge that we're doing the following week. Then after that, it's our wedding. Well, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, well, not our actual wedding, but we just getting married like, and we having a party. Yeah. The wedding, the big wedding is next year in July on our one year anniversary, July 23rd. So, y'all got to stay tuned for that, man, because that's yes. going to be lit. Y'all gonna love the colors. We're not gonna tell you the colors right now, but y'all gonna see. We ain't telling y'all nothing. Yeah, when that day get here and see them colors, y'all like, damn. Y'all gonna like, bro, can you come dig right our wedding too? <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. But yeah, so we about to get up out of here because we gotta go finish laundry, clean up, and we gotta pack. Yes. And, and I'm half tired and half is also right now. Like, literally, literally. And I gotta edit this video because I'm about to get it out tonight. We just thank y'all for all the love and support that y'all give us. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok. We post on TikTok a lot. And everything will be listed below that you need to know. And yeah, so we about to get up out of here for real, for real. It's your boy, Jay. It's your boy, Bill. And we're signing out. Peace. Deuces.